Hey, welcome back. Steve AZ711 here. I've been using this uh, 1977 Ford F250 in my uh, house building project, which I will be giving an update on soon. And this truck's a three-quarter ton. It is able to haul a whole pallet of block in the back. I call it Old Red, as you can see why. Well, anyway, the other day, the reason I'm making this video is I've had a little trouble with this uh, disc brake here locking up on me or not retracting all the way when I let up on the brakes and it was keeping this tire from spinning. I hit some sand and this tire just <laughs> quit rolling at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, brake caliper off and see if I can't lubricate the uh, lubrication points on the pads and see if that stops my problem. I haven't had any trouble with the other side and uh, so I'll do one side at a time because I'm lazy I guess I don't know <laughs> anyway um, what I would suggest to people watching this video if you're going to be playing with your calipers or taking them off your vehicle uh, make sure that you maybe take some fluid out of your master cylinder because when you compress the caliper it'll push the fluid back up into the master cylinder and have a tendency to overflow um, so what I'll do is I'll take a turkey baster I'll remove some fluid then when I compress the caliper either with a C-clamp or a large screwdriver or what have you um, then uh, it'll have room in this uh, overflow for the fluid that's going to be pushed back up the line. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this wheel, get it started and turn the wheel straight, take it off and see what I'm looking at. So I'll be right back. Real quick, because I'm lazy today, I'm using uh, a Chicago electric uh, impact wrench from Harbor Freight, not to give them a plug or anything, but let me show you how that works. Oh, just to give you an idea how the electric ones work. This seems to work pretty good. I'm not sure what these lugs are on at. Anyway, feeling a bit lazy takes a little longer <laughs> but it's less work <laughs> okay so yes I need new tires on the front needs an alignment big suckers okay that'd be a good idea It's been a while since I've worked on one of these things, but I do believe these right here, right here where they hit the pad, slide back and forth. Probably going to have to lubricate those. I bet they're a little rusty. So I don't know. Maybe I'll take it off, sandpaper them a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. I'm going to get started on this and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, I didn't have a C clamp handy. My C clamps are a little small. <laughs> I don't know where I put my big one. But I did have a big pair of pliers. And I was able to get back here a little on this one. This is a dual caliper. You can see the dual piston, I mean, dual piston caliper. Anyway, you can see the gap, and I think this is what the problem is, this rust on these, where it slides, is having this brake lock up, especially it was, it's been raining a lot here in Arizona, and having to go through some water puddles and stuff, and like I said, I've had trouble with it before, and I never did anything to it, but maybe squirt a little WD, but 
you can get it on your brake pads, you ain't careful. So you have to be really careful when you're doing this stuff. Okay, this bolt here needs to be removed. Uh, sometimes this part may be on the bottom. This is an older truck, I believe they moved it in newer models. Now you're supposed to take a Easy for this. Ooh. Anyway, this pin is being driven out slowly. will fall out I believe you have to be very careful and this is your this is your pin this is probably what holds the pin in pressure so it goes back in you tap it back in all right this is your brake line hose to be pretty careful. I don't know if this just, yeah, okay. This right here pivots and this right here. The uh, anti-rattle, or yeah, I guess anti-rattle spring, it just sort of compressed it with the pliers and it came right out. <laughs> Almost hit me in the face. Okay, now, I'm not sure, from the bottom, oh, okay, dual pistons they look good don't seem to be leaking so make sure you don't mess those up okay I gotta get some sandpaper and get some of this rust off of here Okay, I'm going to put a little of this anti-seize compound on the uh, friction points on this. Maybe a little bit on here, maybe on here. You want to keep this stuff off your brake pads. Your brakes won't work if you get it on your brake pads. Very slippery. And as always, this is what I do with my, my stuff. I don't particularly recommend anything to anybody. They want to do this. It's uh, it's up to them. I'm not really sure that you should be re lubricating some of these points. Uh, read a few books. I don't see anywhere it says to lubricate them at all. But I feel that there's a need for it with this truck, and that's why I'm doing it. So, like I said, I don't recommend this. This is just I'm just showing you what I do to mine. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lubricate these uh, these points, and then. Uh, put it back together. I'll be right back. Okay, you can probably see where I put the lubrication on the pads and on where they, where they rest. Um, if I think I got too much on it, I don't know. I might wipe some of that off. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, there's a little bit of trial and error here. So, I might put a little on this. I'm going to put this all back together and put brake fluid back in my reservoir. 
and pump the brakes up and uh, go from there. I'll be back. Okay, she's all back together now and I'm going to go ahead and put the tire back on, lower it down, and I've already put fluid back in my reservoir, uh, new fluid of course, and uh, take her for a test drive and see how she does. But I'll be back. Okay, took Old Red for a test drive, 77 Ford F250. Uh, brakes seem to be working just fine, of course, I've got to get some weight in it, get it out on the road, let them get warm, and see how the other side's doing. But I really believe I fixed the problem here. So this is Steve AZ711 saying, hope your repairs all go well, and bye for now.